Hi guys, Frost Fangs here. Welcome back once again to another Paladins video. We'll be playing some Vivian today with my new and updated builds for her because I have changed them quite a bit since the last video and properly actually spent the time to tweak and finalize them. Of course, they're tailored to me, but I think these will work quite well for anybody and I think they're pretty much the best you're going to get or very close to it for casual stuff. Obviously, you want to change it to your own personal playstyle and stuff, but these are a really good starting point, I'd say. Although what I'm going to focus on in this video specifically because I haven't really covered it that much in other videos is the suspect everybody talent alongside a shield sort of setup although I would generally recommend booby trap but it is what I usually grab I played it a ton already so if I do grab it I'll just grab it in one of the games and maybe play with it and show the shield setup with it but I do want to focus a little bit on suspect everybody opportunity and chaos is a bit of a weird one only 10% Vivian overall I'd say is in a pretty good spot not so much for like try hard PC stuff but I think in casuals and especially on console she does a really good job at the moment going into the three builds a little bit before we jump in to some games i'm not going to be playing with this one i've shown it a ton before it's just ammo gen or reduction then a bit of a reveal on the drone after they leave the range or it gets destroyed and then movement speed which i've run in all of them and pretty much everybody does because it's a really good card even at the nerfed rate that it's at now then for the other two which have changed a lot more it's technically just one with a variant but it's very very similar to the one i just showed you but without the extra ammo gen instead running scapegoat in there really quite a strong card especially when comboed with the talent but the second version of it is the same thing just without the reveal and instead a bit of extra health on the shield because you don't always need a reveal if you're up against like damages and stuff and less flankers people are going to be going around you need to keep track of then sometimes you want the extra health on the shield which also is obviously your health when you're going for scapegoat which is why you run them together and with the talent you get reset if they destroy the shield so sometimes you don't even want to have the extra health because they're going to clear it there so often you want to get the reset i basically just pick and choose what's right for the situation with a talent and the build i'm sure if you play a ton of vivian you get what i mean by that and if you don't play that much vivian just play 10 or 20 games with her with these different setups and stuff and you'll totally get what i mean we've got on top rise for game one we got tyra sky array and then a nando it is about 4am and i'm recording this video so i might be expected to carry but that's fine because we are on vivian i'm going to probably go for booby trap here just because of the map but i feel like suspect everybody would also work really really well because they do have quite a lot of burst going on there seems kind of silly but just because we have a nando i'm going to go for booby trap and then the reveal setup the reveal setup here is definitely the best choice again because of the map with the walls and stuff but i'm worried they're going to get wrecker fernando although he's going for damage so yeah i guess it's not really much of a point what i was going to say we'll go ahead and grab cauterize and nimble to start we've got scorch hunting party restraint okay but debilitate then rampant blooming recurve blood reaper fortress breaker and whatever the Amani grabs, but it doesn't seem like she's here just yet. We'll throw the mine straight off the bat and then just run to the bottom. Okay, there's a dismount and knock for the ash. That's a weird start. Hello, Grove. I guess you're here. We threw the mine. That's a free kill. We'll deactivate the shield just to get on cooldown a little bit faster. Did use to reset your cooldown if you went for suspect everybody, but they fixed that. Shots on the ash. We should scope in when we don't really need the movement, just so that it's a little bit easier to land the shots as long as I'm accurate. Shots on the shot and he's on nothing. We'll see if we can finish off Amani. We'll throw the mine there. Maybe that'll get us something. It's 1200. I'll take it. Just going to sit here and try and heal from being out of combat i had a mine at the door so there's somebody walking in i guess it was ash and we knocked her i don't know grove is also here there's a q that knock didn't hit you somehow i'm just gonna try and dip but i'm still dead i feel like i could have lived there if i was a little bit faster we'll grab some more court charlotte's here on the left side koga's also there he's going into the claws there's some shots on him he's out i'm a little bit worried about fighting the charlotte i'm gonna throw the mine but oh, this should be a free double this is a very very 4am game where it's just gonna be very very swingy depending on who's got the team with the better people on it we'll throw the f here hello amani there's a free kill thank Thank you very much they did clear my ult which kind of sucks we'll pull up the q just absorbed a bunch of damage from the amani i think the card actually might have saved my ass legs i can't remember how much health i was on we'll throw the f when he's on the bottom that's a knock for her we'll throw the f there she's gonna come up i'm pretty sure she's low go ahead and pop the ult that just put me into combat though because she hit me that sucks there's the q we should be able to fight because she shouldn't be able to hit us too easily she's going for the ult i guess that means i'm dead right we'll put the f there i don't know how she took so long to kill me there but okay finished off our quarter eyes finish off our nimble get a little bit of life rip going too this is definitely still winnable we are behind by about 50 but can totally see us winning this we'll throw the f over there push in pull up the q see if we can finish off charlin that ash is probably the person causing me the most trouble at the moment i just took an absolute beating out of nowhere yeah i don't think our nando's here is just kind of walking in for no reason shots on the grower finish him off nice we might just about sneak that kill through get some shots on us she's probably gonna try and use her f or she's just gonna die okay push around this bit kind of behind the charlin free shots on him hit firing with vivian does feel pretty damn good the spread on her weapon isn't bad at all we'll throw the f there samani dropping down on this bit there's the q we should be able to kill her right as long as my tracing doesn't suck nice still pretty bad but we got it nearly got rid of the grover he did pop his ult he's just walking in i'm pretty sure the grover's a bot there's got to be some people in this game who are bots right ash is dashing over this way just gonna throw the f down play real close to us see if we can get rid of her here i'm dead to amani yet yeah, two on one this guy's just doing something <laughs> 
<laughs> Throw the F there. Hello, Ash. Pull up the Q. Okay, we're both trying to play around shields, but you dropped down, so this should be a free one. This is so messy. Grover's also here. I'm dead. Yep, that was absolute ass. Nando sat in the corner holding the point. Shots on the Koga. We'll try and give him a hand, I guess. We finished off our life rip, but they do have quite a bit of cauterize. We'll throw the F there. Sky altered. We'll deactivate the shield. That was a knock. I thought that might help with the Sky ult, but nope. Get shots on the Amani. She should be gone. Get shots on the Grover. He should also be out here, right? Throw the F there in the middle. Shots on the Koga. Grover is still up, I'm pretty sure, trying to get rid of Koga. That's Ash going up with the ult. I thought my Q would maybe block it, but her ult actually destroys my shield. I did not expect that. Should have probably died there. There's some shots on on the Koga, he's out, shots on the Amani. We do have pretty damn good burst with the ult up, but it's still a little bit wearing when I'm in fights like that. I guess we won. Finish off the Grover, pull up the shield, get rid of the Koga if we can. Yep, that's a double. I'm a die for it. I had the ult up, but the gen 66% of it, so it doesn't even really matter that much. Really is going to come down to the wire because we're pretty much even score wise. That mine is going to get kind of stuck, or no, I guess it goes through the shield sometimes. Shots on her. She's going to try and use the F. She hit me with it, but that's fine. Shots on. The Grover, I'm surprised he's not just deactivating the ult. Enough Grover realizes that he can deactivate his ult early because that is kind of new. We'll pop the Q drop down to finish him. Nice. I do have the ult shots on the Ash, trying to avoid the cauterize with our shield and stuff. Didn't really work though. Throw the mine there. Hello, Grover will catch you and finish you off. He's definitely a person, but playing kind of weird. There goes the Amani too. Got to reload in, pushing up on the Ash. We'll pull up the Q and just try and blast her here in the corner. This is kind of a kind of a mean play, but there we go. She's gone. Throw our mine there. Got to reload in again. All the hours I've spent playing Infinite Ammo Vivian makes me forget how much you usually reload on it the banana, we've got so many ammo i feel like i'm going through it like it's nothing 377 that's an amani dragon uh 310 just gonna try and go through it but i think that's gonna work we took a bunch of its health off maybe that'll somehow help koga's ulting 2 382 340 this easily could still be a win for them i'm surprised i didn't hear the amani effect but we finished all of our items now that's charlin pushing up very aggressively for no reason he's dead throw the mine up top shots on the grove that's gonna knock him down there we go nice that actually worked out fantastically koga's out ash is definitely the person meant to carry on their side and i think i am for hours there goes the amani and there is the victory like i tried to say as we were loading in if i was expected to carry there as a healer or a tank like i often somehow end up recording at like 4 or 5 a.m playing characters i can't carry i would have been screwed but today we we're on vivian so it worked out quite well 21 708k i was playing pretty mediocre but shouts to their koga shouts to their ash overall a pretty solid game but go ahead and recue jump straight into a game two all right well for game two we've got onslaught performance rise again would love to have king of the hill on this map but i guess we got back to back the same thing we've got a victor we've got a Ceres and ash from the last game and a barrack and then for their side they've got a Ceres, a fury and Amani, a mani and a mave for this one i would usually go for booby trap again because the map and the teams here but we'll go for spect everybody just to mix it up and then the shield setup just to tank a ton we'll go for court and nimble again to start usually wouldn't go for suspect everybody would recommend booby trap here and maybe a different setup not the ammo one but probably the reveal but we'll mix it up we've got cardio fortress breaker agony fortify then they've got agony exterminate spilling ice exaction and street justice don't know why i threw the mine on the wall there I was trying to aim it down the hallway the elevator isn't moving but whatever there goes the mave elevator is now moving i guess you have to wiggle a bit on it there's the earth get rid of the Ceres. i'm still using as if it blows up when it doesn't there goes the fear if we can just finish her off that's a stun there's the q okay guess we're fine finish her off throw the mine there again i'm still using it like we're playing with booby trap when we're not dead to Ceres there but something that i didn't even remember with vivian is that i'm pretty sure if you get stunned or hard cc do you actually get your shield taken down because i was stunned by the Ceres there i think my shield actually just straight broke that's fear with the beam that just confirms it that is a very interesting interaction but i'm also pretty sure it gets classified as being destroyed because it gave me the cooldown reset it wasn't 13 seconds it was lower because we went for the talent so i guess if you're up against a ton of cc maybe you'd want to go for this over booby trap that's something i didn't even really think about but i guess i'm finding out stuff as i'm recording the video there it goes the mave nearly will get rid of the amani first because it's easy we'll throw the mine over there we'll pop the q get rid of the nobody because i got stunned but yeah we definitely get the reset trigger there so this is kind of better do you deploy the shield we'll push down here we'll pop the ult we'll throw the f there at the back and i guess just run on bottom right side i think Ceres must have altered because they're all very very clustered we're going to do a little bit of a jump here get some shots on whoever we can get them on i think Ceres must have used her invis that's the mave behind me okay playing very very weird we'll throw the mine there get rid of the cassie because she's pushing up maybe if the mine blew up there we would have had that doesn't really matter because we're holding the objective but there goes the cassie more shots we'll throw the mine up a bit sure it's a pretty big reveal actually we'll pop the q get rid of this amani damage on vivian is honestly kind of crazy there goes the fury that's the cassie ulting especially when you've got the ult up of course i'm just gonna dodge that cassie for a little bit shout there it's for the heal and she is gone if i can just land one or two more hits he's on nothing there we go literally the last shot fury through the beam already so we can just drop down and get rid of her here for free 
thank you very much. We've got a ton of credits. Pull up the queue. We should be able to fight for a little bit longer because of the talent and setup we're running, but it's kind of risky trying to get rid of the Maeve. Dead. Went ahead and finished off our quarter rise. Get resilience too because we are being CC'd quite a bit. Agony plus exterminate. Push on the right side. This is probably a bad play, but we'll see what we can do. Pull up the queue. I thought Fury was for some reason doing a weird play there with the F. Ceres is gone. Don't know what moves those were. There goes the Vivian too. Okay. Went ahead and popped the ult. Ceres is going up there. We'll throw the mine, but that's not really going to do anything. Somehow that beam didn't hit me. I feel kind of bad for that Fury there. She should have totally had that there is the Q. Don't know exactly what she's going for. Did she throw the beam there again and somehow miss? I feel like I should have totally like died twice already. There she goes. We'll throw mine there at the back. I think I'm probably dead now unless we can get some damage. Yeah, I'm gone. Of course, we don't have anybody healing near us. Ceres is down the bottom with the tanks, which is why we're locking down the objective. Finish off resilience. Get a little bit more nimble. Our team comp does feel pretty cheesy just like for holding the objective and stuff. Let's get rid of this Maeve. Ceres is probably going to throw a heal, but we do have a ton of quarter rise, so that should be a free one. Yeah, need to get a reload in here. That's another Fury Beam. What missed me by like an inch. If she had like a tiny bit of extra radius on that, we'd be hit like three more times shots on the cassie she should be gone my accuracy is so bad with the shake but yeah, there we go that's victor just standing and accepting death i guess fury is ulting pull up the queue or maybe she's not i thought i heard the sound effect i must have been hearing something else yep that's a fury ult i don't know what i heard there maybe she was stunned out of it somehow or something weird happened i swear i heard a fury sound effect doesn't matter there is, yeah, the victory. So yeah, there you go. There are the stats for the second one. I feel like I've done a solid job of showing this off today. I don't really know what else I could add here. So yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and cut it here. Thank you for watching. Of course, leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see me the next. I'll see you guys all really, really soon. And as always, stay frosty.